What's up, everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Target exclusive Trooper 2-pack from the Ahsoka television show. Now, I know a lot of people bought multiples of these, and I don't blame you. It's a very nice set, but I just got the one, and Target did only charge me $24.99. And as you see, it comes in this double-wide Galaxy packaging. It's kind of cool. we got Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through this large window, you can see both troopers. So we have the so-called Phase 1 clone trooper lieutenant. It's not. It's really just a 501st Phase 1 clone. Uh, no huge deal. Then we have the 332nd there. Both troopers look great. They each come with their respective helmets, and then they each come with a DC-15A as well as a DC-15S. We got Star Wars Ahsoka there, and here we have Phase 1 Clone Trooper Lieutenant and 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. The front window wraps around on this side, and there's the side with the artwork, and that is just gorgeous. I love that. And this color for the Ahsoka line, absolutely beautiful. You got this big old window on the top. And on the bottom, you get the barcode, tons of small print, and some logos. And there's the back of the box. You get the same pictures that are on the side. They're just bigger, and you have a short bio in five different languages. This one is not numbered, and you have some more small print at the bottom. And the bio just says, Throughout the Clone Wars, clone troopers fought separatist battle droids across the galaxy. Though little Republic support could be spared in helping Ahsoka Tano assist a besieged Mandalore, a 501st clone trooper division pledged their loyalty to Ahsoka with repainted helmets. All right, I'm going to get these two fellas out of this box. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so I got these two gentlemen out of the box. So I got the Phase 1 on the left and the 332nd Phase 2 on the right. And I think they both look very good. The paint is nice. And of course, being on the 2023 clone body, the articulation is amazing. The faces are okay. It's the same face that we've seen with Apo and the all-white Phase 2. It's okay. It's It works. I'm, I will most likely keep the helmets on. Um, but they're both great figures. And now that I've got them open, I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting a second set. But it's okay. It's fine. Uh, but let's take a look at the Phase 1 first. All right, so here is the Phase 1, 501st, not Lieutenant. Uh, it's okay. Now, as far as Lieutenant, all right, so if you look on Wikipedia, this is what the Lieutenant looks like, or supposed to look like. You know, got that kind of aqua uh, color. Okay, it's not blue. And as far as figures, I mean, Sideshow got it right. The color is perfect. Got the little dots on his chest. I mean, that's a good-looking figure. And of course, Hasbro, you know, they did the Phase 1 Clone Lieutenant, but it's still this blue. It's the wrong color. So this one, it's just a 501st Phase 1 clone, but again, it looks great. And as far as the face, same face that we've seen before on a few of these. Um, got the little scars there and the little, you know, lines on the forehead. Eyes are okay. Nose, mouth, skin tone's pretty good. Hair's okay. Um, yeah, from the neck up, it's fine. And from the neck down, it's clone armor. You know, phase one paint job. The blue is very nice. You got some scratches throughout. Um, and again, the chest on this 2023 body is an overlay. So that's nice. You got some scratches over here. Yeah, the paint looks really good. It's a beautiful shade of blue. And then right down to the feet. Yeah, just clone armor. We've seen it many, many times before. And I don't really want to, you know, go into articulation too much. But, you know, as you know, he's got great range in the head. The butterfly joints are just on another level. Elbows are very, very good. Past 90. Good crunch, good back, you know, good side to side. Legs are very good. And of course, the knee pads are not glued down. So when you flex the knee, the knee pad is on the knee. And of course, you can move it up here if you want to, but it can also be on the knee. So that's nice. So the articulation is fabulous on these. I mean, not that the 2020 body was bad, but the 2023 body it's just wonderful. Oh, and again, you have upper bicep swivel. And this one is super smooth. It's nice. Yeah, it's a good looking figure. And here's a look at the helmet that he comes with, the phase one, and I like it. The paint is super clean. The mouth looks good. The little black there is very nice. The visor, the black line going around there looks great. Now, of course, if he were a lieutenant, the blue stripe on the fin would go all the way down to the visor. Okay. The sides look like that. The paint's so clean on this thing. I love it. This looks good. The gray on the back's nice. And I was so happy to see that they put a little bit of red back there. That's awesome. So I think overall, it's a great looking helmet. And let's see how this looks on him. Okay, that goes on nicely. And it looks phenomenal. I love that. Yeah, the helmet kind of makes him look a little beefy up here. Yeah, that looks really good. And here's a look at the two blasters that he comes with. So you got the DC-15S or carbine, and then you have the DC-15A, the heavy blaster rifle. And they look good. I mean, they look just like all the other ones we've seen. Uh, just this kind of flat, dark gray plastic. Yeah, but they're fine. And let's look at some poses with the Phase 1. So here he is with the carbine, just standing at attention. And this looks nice. 
And here he is at a relaxed stance. That looks good. But I think where this 2023 Cologne body really shines is having the trooper posed firing his weapon. That looks incredible. You know, firing low like that. You can bring the blaster a little more forward. That looks nice. And of course, effortless. You can get the blaster all the way up there. That looks incredible. And you can easily get the blaster all the way up here. That is amazing. That <laughs> It just doesn't get much better than that. That looks beautiful. And if you want him kneeling, firing, it looks great. The knee pad is on the knee. I love this. All right, so the phase one looks great with the carbine. So here he is with the DC-15A heavy blaster rifle standing in attention. And this looks very good. And there he is at a relaxed stance, just chilling out. I think this looks fantastic. And there he is firing low, laying down some suppressive fire with the feet pretty far apart. This figure is very balanced and I love the look of this. And of course you can get this rifle all the way up here and look at this, the stock is sitting right where it should be. That's pretty awesome. And something that they did on the 2023 clone body that I think is pretty cool is they gave him trigger fingers on both hands. So if you wanted to make these guys left-handed, you could. And I think this looks very, very good. But I think for now, I'm just gonna leave the phase one like this, just shoulder firing the DC-15A. I love this pose. So let's take a look at the 332nd next. And here we have the 332nd Ahsoka clone, and it looks nice. Same face as the other one. You got this going on in the front, love that. The shoulder bells look good. I love that they painted the black on these new clones. Looks so nice, so nice. You do have some blue back there. That's a nice touch. Got the stripes down the legs, got some blue there, and same thing on this side, blue on the knees, right down on the feet. It's a gr great looking trooper. I absolutely love this trooper. And of course, articulation is exactly the same. You know, great range in the head. Butterfly joints are amazing. Bicep swivel, very, very good elbows. Crunch, back, side, legs are great. And of course, the knee pads the same. Fantastic articulation, and just it's just a good-looking trooper overall. And here is the 332nd helmet, and this looks incredible. The paint is so nice. The visor looks good. The mouth grill, all this in here, just gorgeous. So the lines on this helmet are a little bigger than on the other 332nd. You know, that's on the 2020 body. These are a little bit bigger. They look great. The gray stripe going around the sides and the back looks really good. The black back there is nice. Great-looking helmet. And let's see how this looks on him. Okay, this one's much tighter. Wow, the phase one went on easily. This one, yeah, a lot tighter. Uh, but once it's on, it looks great. And it doesn't really affect head movement too much. Oh, I love that. And let's look at the DC-15A first on this trooper. Okay, he looks good standing at attention. And there he is with the blaster down here, just hanging out. That looks great. And here he is firing low, you know, suppressive fire, wide stance. He's very balanced. This is nice. And that's what this one looks like, kneeling, shoulder firing this heavy blaster rifle. Love it. All right, so the 332nd looks great with the heavy blaster rifle. So here he is with the carbine at attention. And there he is firing from the hip, sort of wide stance. That looks good. And of course, having the blaster up here looks amazing. I mean, what an awesome trooper. The articulation on this 2023 body is so good. I mean, not that the 2020 body is bad, but this is just great. It's a lot smoother, I think. It's a... <laughs> Just a great figure. And of course, this one has a trigger finger on the left as well. So if you wanted to make this one left-handed, you could. But for now, I think I'm going to leave the 332nd like this, just kind of chilling with his blaster. All right, so as far as posing, this is how I'm going to have these guys on the shelf for now. 332nd, just hanging out in the phase one, firing the heavy blaster rifle. I think this looks nice, and I cannot get over how good these look. I am literally kicking myself right now for not getting a second set. And because kicking yourself really doesn't feel all that great, I did grab another set. And I'm adding this in after the fact. I mean, I've had this review done since last Saturday. But during the week, you know, I was looking at, at these two troopers there and there on the shelf. And I kept thinking, you know, these are too good to just have one of each. So now I'm happy. Now back to the video. All right. Let's go put these two guys on the shelf and let's see how they look there. So even though these two troopers are marketed as Ahsoka figures, I really don't have a spot in the Ahsoka section right now. I'm going to have to do some shuffling. I may have to move the sequel trilogy somewhere else and then move Ahsoka down, you know, to make more room. So for now, I just have them over here with their brothers. So the phase one I have up here next to the phase one commander. And I think he looks great there in this little space there that is reserved for the super battle droid and the you know, battle droid with the 3PO head. Okay, that's kind of where they're going to go. 
and he looks good there. Okay, this is like Attack of the Clones and Phase One section. So there's the original Black Series Phase One Lieutenant. I mean, yes, it's a lieutenant as far as markings, but the color's wrong. Okay, but I have some other Phase Ones here, and of course the the 2D Clone Wars Arc Trooper, which is essentially Fordo. So I got that, and then these two, and I think he looks wonderful right there. And I put the 332nd over here next to the other 332nds. And from a distance, it's kind of hard to tell which one is the brand new one. But as you get up close, you can see the helmet. You know, like I mentioned, the lines on the side there are a lot more pronounced on the new one. And the paint is a little cleaner as well. Now, as far as the messy paint, you know, it really doesn't bother me because these guys, you know, obviously painted the helmets themselves probably kind of rushed, so it's going to be a little messy. So I don't mind this one being different than this one, okay? Because that's that's kind of how it was in the show. Uh, but they look great there. I mean, <laughs> this is why I kind of want a second set now just for this, you know, to have these over here in this section of the display. Now, I could leave them over here, but the fact that they're Ahsoka figures, I do want to have them in the Ahsoka section just in case if we get a young... Ahsoka from the show, and it sounds like we're going to get another Anakin, so I don't know. But both these troopers, I think, look phenomenal on the shelf. I am very, very happy with both of them. So bottom line, it's an excellent set. I mean, both troopers look fantastic. And the Phase 1, even though he's really not a lieutenant, it's fine. I mean, this is how he looked in the Ahsoka show. You know, we saw these guys running around just plain old 501st Phase 1 clones, I'm fine with it, and of course the 332nd is just cool. I mean, that that was one of my favorite moments in Season 7 of The Clone Wars is when Ahsoka saw all these guys with their helmets painted. I'm just super happy with both of these. But just like always, I would love to hear from you guys, so please comment below and let me know what you think of the Clone Trooper 2-pack from the Ahsoka television show. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like and subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And something else I urge you to consider, and that is joining the channel. It's only 99 cents a month. You can become a member of the 112th Battalion. You'll have access to sneak peeks and some loyalty badges and custom emojis and all that good stuff. I would definitely appreciate that. But just like always, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.